Who's there? If you've seen The Conjuring, then you get the point of my intro. Hello everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude. I'm here to bring you my movie review for The Conjuring. And it stars Patrick Wilson, Vera Fargama, Lily Taylor, and Ron Livingston. The movie is based on a true story about these paranormal investigators named Ed and Lorraine Lauren, and they work to help this family to find the dark presence in their farmhouse because something haunting is happening to them. And that's really all you need to know. I should let you guys know, in case you don't know by now, I am not the biggest horror fan. Horror genre is my least favorite genre in the filmmaking history. And if you love horror, that's good. But me, I'm just not a big horror fan. And nowadays, it's just... It's just kind of hard for me to really find a good one. And going into The Conjuring, I was interested in it, but at the same time, I was too scared to see it because I I don't want to go a whole week of no sleeping. That's why I also don't like horror movies. They either, one, come up as too predictable, too cliched, or too lazy, or two, they come off as too scary for me. I gotta be honest with you guys there. I think it's a really good film. It's not just a horror film, but it's like this psychological thriller film. And I was really impressed with The Conjuring. I really liked it. The Conjuring really impressed me. I really liked it. It's definitely one of the better horror films. Now, I'll be honest. On the scare factor, did it scare me? Did it make me go, oh my gosh, like, did it make me jump out of nowhere? No, I didn't jump at any parts in The Conjuring. I maybe mildly jumped at one part, but that was really it. Overall, I didn't jump at any parts in The Conjuring. It was a creepy movie, though. The thing that is scary about this film, though, is the fact this is based on a true story. This is based on people who actually went through frightening situations. And even though the movie didn't really give me any jump scares, the whole time I was watching The Conjuring, I was actually really scared for this family because if I had to go through something like that, then, oh man. The storyline to this film is very well written. The sound editing, the sound effects in this film, you know, during the creepy moments, it was really good. James Wan, the dude's got serious talent. He has very cool wide open shots for you to see perfectly of what's going on. The scares he'll offer to people are very well done. The movie is just crazy overall. The film just goes to a slow moving pace and I think that's gonna bug some people. The fact that the movie wasted a half of its running time building up. For me, I actually dug that. I am so glad they actually slowed down because that leaves room for a lot of storyline developing, all the creepy situations that are going down. The acting in this horror film, it's really good. Everyone here acted really awesome. The cinematography for The Conjuring. Wow. Wow. It looks so good. The characters in this film are so cool. I just really enjoyed the paranormal investigators that Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga just played in this film. Creepy moments where they do try to scare you. I was still creeped out. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. There was a couple of times when 
the shit was going down, my mouth was actually wide open. There were a couple of times where I actually had that reaction. Really good sound effects, really good sound editing, really good cinematography, really good acting. It's well written, it's well directed, it's well constructed, well executed. This film does a lot of things right. This is such an impressive horror film. The only flaw I did have with The Conjuring, honestly, was that the ending felt abrupt. It felt a little too easy. There's no surprises with the ending. But then again, it's a true story. I'm impressed by this film. I'm going to give The Conjuring three and a half out of four stars. All right, turn off the light, Jasmine. Alright, hold on. Um, right here. Right here, yeah. Make sure you're not. Make sure you're not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Then just go in, because that's where mm -hmm. I'm going to do the opening shot of me coming in. I'm scared. I'm in here. Alright. Make sure it's aimed at me. Okay, Jasmine, then you go behind the door. And then. When I say, uh, whoever's there, I'm gonna lock you in. Wait, start all over. Alright, Jasmine, now come in. <laughs> I'm gonna be looking around with my cell phone for about 10 seconds. Okay, where's my head? Behind your back? I'm scared. Yeah, make sure your face is not showing. Okay. You have to make sure only your hands show. Then you have to clap, like, behind me. Yeah. I'm you scared, to Tony. You're possessing. <laughs> yeah, right. do I continue? Alright, just wait about 10 seconds, Jasmine. Okay. Because it's black. Subscribe to my channel. Comment your honest opinion on this film. Like and share this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.